my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like the video if you like it and share it to friends who might need it this video was requested by someone down in the comments so if you have a song you're looking to do leave it down in the comments and i'll check it out for the song your guitar is going to be in standard tuning and you're going to need a capo on the seventh fret also going to need a couple of different chords so the first chord you're going to need is going to be a g chord but that's going to be sixth string third fret fifth string second fret fourth string open third string open Second string, third fret, first string, third fret. Uh, the strumming pattern for uh, most of the songs is gonna be down, down, up, down, up. So you start with the G, down, down, up, down, up, and then repeat it one more time. And then go to a F chord to play that's gonna be sixth string, first fret, fifth string, third fret, fourth string, third fret, third string, second fret, second string, first fret, first string, first fret. Play the same strumming pattern there twice. Then go to a C chord. But that's gonna be fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, third string open, seventh string, first fret, first string open. Play the strumming pattern there four times. So one, two, three, four. So this is how the verse sounds like. just going through those three chord progressions and you're gonna be playing that for four times throughout the first verse of the chorus you're gonna be starting from an A minor to play that's gonna be fifth string open fourth string second fret third string second fret second string fourth string first string open so do the same strum pattern two times like always mm -hmm. then go to a D chord play that's gonna be fourth string open third string second fret second string third fret first string second fret play the exact same strum pattern then go to the C and for the C you play the strumming pattern there four times so one, two, three, four and then repeat the whole thing over again so but this time instead of going to the D you go to a G so the C is pretty much the same thing and then for the, the little post chorus part, it's gonna be from A minor, and then G, and then C. Strum down once, and then you go on to the next verse. So after you play that part, you go on to the next verse, and then that verse is pretty much gonna be played the exact same way as played the previous verse, and then go on to the chorus, and then the chorus is gonna be played the exact same way as played the previous chorus, and then go on to the bridge. So for the bridge, you're just going to be going from the G to the F, and then C. You got to strum each chord once, and you're going to repeat that two more times. And then after you repeat that two more times, the second half of the bridge is going to be a little different. So for the second half of that bridge, you're going to be from the B7. So that's going to be 5th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 1st fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, open that 1st string, 2nd fret. Play the strumming pattern there, so twice like always. So and then go to a C, play the strumming pattern there twice like always. Then repeat the B7 part one more time. And then strum an E minor. To play an E minor is gonna be six string open, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, second fret, third string open, second string open, and first string open. Strumming pattern there twice. Then repeat it one more time, go back to the B7. And then you strum down the C once. And then after you strum down the C once, you go on to the outro. So the outro is pretty much when you play like the verse. And we should just go in from the G to F, C. Repeat it one more time. For the last C, you just strum down once. And that's pretty much how the song ends. So this is how the whole song sounds like all together.
it helped don't forget to leave a like subscribe to see more videos like this share it with friends when you need it leave a comment down below on what story you like to see next and i'll see you next time